vegetable. episode 128 of my series where I try to play the towns, cities and urban areas of Norway to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we have made it to the town of Sherdal, uh, or Sherdalshashen as the as the locals will call this particular area, and which is the name of the urban area as uh, listed by the Central Bureau of Statistics. But everyone will pretty much refer to us as Shardar. Um, and, uh, well, what am I going to say about this place? This is actually, when you look at the whole area of the region of Trendelag, which I have more or less, is more or less what you see here now, uh, Trondheim is the largest one. And then Sherdan is the second large. Well, Trondheim is by far the largest city here. And then Sherdan is actually the second largest uh, city. And it's not particularly large. And it's got like 13,378 people living there in 2022. So, and it is home to the uh, central airport of the area, which is very much a reason for the, the, how this place has developed in recent years. Uh, but it's also also got a fair bit of industry, although I don't think there's any like huge, huge in, 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 industrial conglomerates established here, but there's, uh, there's businesses, there's uh, quite a bit of commercial stuff, and of course it's the next door to hell, which is here. Now, hell doesn't mean what you think it does, but um, basically means uh, the sloping area. But uh, it is kind of fun, and uh, you got a railroad station here with, uh, I, well, as you can see, God, God will expedite you here. And, um, well, goods in Norwegian means uh, wares or goods. And uh, they sell postcards here with, uh, with a picture of the place and the name and... Uh, the caption you always said I'd wind up here so yeah so they make a good buck on tourists during the year um, most of the times when I've been to Sherdal it's been to go to the airport which I have used frequently over the years um, I've been downtown a little bit but of course never out in the on the in the residential areas I visited the church down here which apparently has the oldest roof in Norway. I think there's segments of the roof from the 1200s. But anyways, uh, let's go to Sherdarn. Well, I guess we won't be in any danger of repeating locations. And I also guess we won't be in any danger of uh, rivaling these times, but hopefully we will rival these scores. So let's see. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's a thing that you will notice as you go further north in Norway, that... Uh, well, ever further north in Norway, is that a lot of the roads in the residential areas will not be paved or tarmacked. Uh, now, let's see. Mm, okay, so... Um, well... <laughs> well, that's sort of the antithesis to what it says over here. Oh, okay. I guess that was quite... Wow. That's a gap in reality. Whew. Okay. So this is Bergs Street. Um... So, sort of a semi-commercial and residential area. Hmm. This fellas ship, that's the farmer's 
Co Farmers Association Co-op. Um, that we've seen a few times in previous games. You must weak own the top to the weak own the yard. So they got both an agricultural equipment dealership as well as an undertaker. Hmm. Now here we should have the name of another road. I'm just curious where we are in relation to the fjord. That's sort of how far away. And which road is this? This is a Vedigalan road. Now I could be wrong, but Vadigalon is is the surname of uh, well a number of people, but the most famous one of them, at least in Norway, was the poet Henrik. There's a railroad in Hedersvegen, and uh, he lived in the uh, first half of the 1800s. Right. Okay. So in Headed Road and. So in headed would mean sort of the inner mm, headed is um, I think if we go to the, if you go to Scotland you have uh, the outer Hebrides you have the islands of Lewis and Harris and I believe the Norse name of the island of Harris was Herad which basically means an, <laughs> an area <laughs> a region and uh, the Inherad is the inner reaches of the Trondheim Fjord, and then they have Utherad, which is the outer reaches. Um, inherad. And I would guess that this is the Inherad Road, right? Yes. Now, we are very close to the railroad, which is sort of curious. So, hmm. School Street, here's Baddick Street, so we are here on the Stockbeck Street. So the Wooden Pole Brook Street, or something like that. Mm. This it ought to be this house. No, it's not. It's. Uh, how about we just turn around the night? So, and look down to this little building that is next to this long one, which must be the, no, that is this one. Okay. Now this, right, so we're looking at this carport or whatever it is, which must be this bit of this house. So we should be here. There we are. Okay, and this must be closer to downtown as the buildings are larger. Uh, eastwards, well, let's go westwards. Yeah, this is starting to look like downtown of Shirt. What on earth is going on here? What? <laughs> mm, okay, looks like. It must, have been, it must have been one of those rare years where we've hardly had any snow coming up to Christmas. Bredablik Vein, the Panorama Panorama Road. <laughs> um, and Irkis Vein, the Profession Street. And that's a... no. I thought I saw the steeple of a church here, but that's... nope. And here we got a lot of construction work going on. That's a church. And here we have okay, and this is the secondary school of the area. Okay. I have been there once actually. Now where's that? Isn't that over here? That's yeah, here's the secondary school. So we were on Ole Vigs Street. Here's the um, let's see. So this is the on the Panorama Road. So we're way somewhere over there. So the Panorama Road is 
uh, okay, this is the Lindbergh Veta. So a Veit is basically an alley or a narrow road, an alleyway. Um, okay, so here we are, sort of between houses, but we have this block of flats, which must be this one. And we are just clipping the eastern edge of it. I'm missing a building here though. Well, that always spooks me a bit. That... But yeah, that should be alright. Well, it doesn't get more alright than that. Um, <laughs> what? This must be right on the outskirts of... Uh, my design map, yeah, it's like this is a daycare from the look of it, and here we got some signs. Let's see, I wonder if I might have been here in Yates and the goats, the goats leap, uh, not nature daycare. Yeah, this is very much a thing in Norway where you. Well, you will have daycares that uh, do a lot of stuff uh, outdoors and uh, are situated next to woods or, uh, well, places where they can go hiking with the kids, like into the woods here. Okay, Remir. Okay, I know Remarka is um, somewhere up here, isn't it? So, uh, we could be, oh, it has, yeah, has, the, has, the, has the daycare. So, let's see, did we come from the north or did we come from the south? That's the next question. So, we go north. Okay, so we are here then. And then the daycare should be right up. No, this isn't right. No, I'm, I'm guilty of faulty thinking. No, I'm not. So, um... What on earth is going on here? Um... Right, so... Okay. Now let's see what's going on. So... Southeast... So now we've gone that way. So we are... Oh, look at northwest. Okay, so we're in this bit, right? Now... Hmm... Oh, this is iffy. This is iffy indeed. Let's see, can I spot any... Now, if you would load the image properly, that would be... Then it gets stuck. There we go. Okay, so we have... I don't think it's that building. I think it's that one. Let's see, we're looking southwest. South and southwest. Yeah, I think we're looking at these guys and, and these buildings. Yeah, you can actually see the roof. Let's see, can we see um, Right, so we're one... Yeah, one movement, uh, unit of movement away from seeing that roof. And that means... Let's see, if we look at southwest... We should be about there, but I don't know if I agree with that. Although, let's see, size of the car, size of the people. I don't know if we're quite that equidistant. Can we see the other building here? I don't think it has been constructed. Oh, hey, hang on. There it is, all of a sudden. Okay, so that's the red one. Which is not... 
available on this footage. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Okay, I well with that in mind, I think I'm onto something here. I might be no, no I'll go with that. Close enough. Tricky. Okay. Suburbia. Got the fjord down there and we're quite high up. So we must be we must be up in the hills here again. I reckon. Hmm. And that said, this is quite a developed area. Guest parking for what's it called? It's a Utsikten Terrasse. Yes, that's what it says. So it's the guest parking for the cooperative housing of Utsikten Terrasse. That's the view terrace. That must be like way up here. Stockkonvägen. Hmm. Well, I haven't spotted it yet, so I think. No, need to look for some road names here and downhill is probably the better option oops what did it say over here it said Gummelvein the old road okay <clears throat> and this over here is Helleberge the sloping mountain or sloping hill could also be Slate Hill by the way Björnhaugen the bear hill and and a road without a name. Greenhouses. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Let's get that view of the town again. That's not an airplane coming in for landing. Mm -mm. Yeah, we must be up here somewhere. It's Helleberge, it's the old... Right, so we were on the road called Helleberge. Okay. So we're currently here. Here's the greenhouses. That's a gardening center. So Björnhagen goes like that. Okay. And there's Helleberge, which we were on. So why? Oh, never mind. So... We are, let's see, so we got this thing going on here, must, must be this one. Don't see the garages though, but that's not necessarily a prerequisite for finding out things. So, when we have this house here, is it that one or that one? Hmm. Um, 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 um. It's got to be this one, right? And now we turn around and we have this L shaped thing here. So we move to the side a little bit. We are a little east of that one. So let's try there. I'm not quite comfortable with that though. Well, looks like it ought to be. Oh yes, definitely. Cool. Final round, and we're downtown. Finally. Okay. Um. Now let's see. Where are we downtown? Are we close to the hotel I was staying at a couple of months months ago? Let's see. Um. 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 Bowling alley, I see going west. Oh, no. oh, oh, for a moment I was worried that we were caught in a photosphere. Hmm. 
to the bowling alley. Well, that's a pedestrian street, so of course we can't try... Well, actually, we can walk there. Oh, wow. Okay, that was quite the leap. Okay, so that we got the Market Square Mall. And the Bakery and Confectionery. And the Pharmacist's Yard. Daddy Care, Pizza Baker, Fitness Point. The savings Bank is... That's... Mm, the Opera Loft. Right. And this is... And this is the hotel. It's being built. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Quality Airport Hotel. I stayed here no more than two and a half months ago. So, okay. So we are... So we are, so that's the hotel, and we have, here's the pedestrian street, here's the bowling alley, let's see, Schöpmannsgarten, which is the name of this street, means the merchant street, which is rather aptly named, and we are standing right here, boom, there we go. That took a little while longer than I expected, but we got some pretty rural locations. That one was scary. Uh, but yeah, we got Shardon done perfectly, and that is the aim. So yeah, that is Shardon down and dusted, and uh, episode 128 in the bag. Please check in tomorrow for episode 129. Until then, bye bye.